So. And now at four, get ready for a new driving experience on the Ohio Turnpike. That's because a new toll collection system launched overnight for travelers. Danielle Wiggins joins us live from the toll plaza in Strongsville to explain the changes. Good afternoon to you, Danielle. Well, hi there, Laura and Matt. Want to let you know we are about 15 hours into this new toll collection system. And I'm going to tell you, it took about five years for it to come to fruition and about $250 million to create. So here's what you're going to see now at the Turnpike. The goal is to help modernize the Turnpike for drivers and the 139,000 vehicles that use the system daily. The biggest upgrade is what being called open road tolling, which means all of the gates have been removed and easy pass lanes. So drivers, if you have that easy pass, you know what that is. It allows you to skip taking a ticket and paying the toll on the road. Well, you now you don't have to stop. So for Zan Ahmed, the executive director of the Ohio Turnpike tells me that about 70% of drivers who use the Turnpike have easy passes. Here's what he says is the benefit of the new system. If they are coming from Pennsylvania or from Indiana and driving through, they no longer have to stop. Yesterday at this time, they would have to stop at the Indiana border and at the Pennsylvania border and go through the booths. Now they don't have to stop. That, of course, uh, means that, of course, you no longer there, that there's no gates there at the easy pass lanes, and ticket booths remain for those who still want to pay their tolls with cash or a credit card. However, Ahmed says using an easy pass will save you about 33% on tolls. In addition to the easy pass gate removal, nine toll plazas in Williams, Fulton, Trumbull, and Mahoney counties, they will no longer collect tolls. However, the Turnpike, they have added two new toll plazas that went into effect today. So that brings the number from 31 toll plazas that collected tolls down to 24. So, um, and Laura, coming up at six or five, rather, how to determine if you should get an easy pass? So, Danielle, another question that a lot of people are asking is how much are easy passes? Yes, that's the big question, right? Well, it depends on where you purchase the Easy Pass from. So those costs vary. However, there is a $3 standard activation fee, but any money that you pay outside of that $3 standard activation fee, the upfront cost, you will get that returned to you as a toll credit from the Turnpike. All right, Danielle Wiggins live for us in Strongsville tonight. Danielle, thank you.